When at this father was 45 years old, the Middlesex DA's office has not identified him, but ever police confirm he was from this neighborhood and he was fatally stabbed trying to protect his son. Now Everett and state police returned here to the scene this morning after Channel 5 photographer Steve Caro spotted a knife sitting on top of the hood of this SUV. So a news crew actually just flagged me down with a bloody knife on top of it. A knife left on the hood of an SUV parked along Cherry Street in Everett. State police returned to the scene this morning to document and collect the knife, part of their ongoing investigation of a deadly stabbing. Last night, investigators combed this same area looking for evidence. What is unclear is if the knife was here all night or was brought to the scene this morning. This neighbor noticed teenagers and a phone around 8 a.m. Two young kids, a girl and a boy, they were like focused on something. Everett police confirm a 45 year old father died protecting his son last night. Officers were called here just after 10 o'clock. Some type of a, a scooter or something that was making a lot of noise, and that's what caught my attention. He was laying down in the driveway there. I could see him from my window, and my back porch. Were there other people around? Ah, uh, there was a girl that was screaming on the street. There was the woman screaming and the man lying there hurt and the other other man was panicking. This neighbor also called 911. The two people were on the motorcycle, but they may have tried to help. I mean, they may have called the police because they were here until the police arrived. So. She's afraid to show her face on camera, shaken by what happened here. It's scary and surreal doesn't feel like it looks like in something in movies. Now, police have not released any information about what led up to the stabbing or if anyone else with, was injured in any of this. When we spoke to the police earlier this morning, no arrests had been made in the case. We're live in Everett. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.